Now I'd like to start mounting the electronics onto the eBay sled. Now this is not in the instructions. Everything is really going to depend on what altimeters you use and what batteries and the components. So there's a variety of altimeters. They'll all work. Um, everybody asks me what's my favorite one. And my favorite one is the one that I grabbed the fur first. <laughs> when I'm going through my box, I just grab one. Um, so this time I just grabbed an easy mini. Um, but what I recommend that you do is, is to do a layout of the board. So here I did two layouts. Um, this top one here is with a single altimeter and a battery. So I was planning on putting my battery right there and my altimeter right there. Um, and then there's also a switch that will go on the edge of the board, like right about there. Um, I've decided on my rocket, I'm gonna go with two altimeters as kind of a redundancy. So I've laid up two different altimeters. So I got a small one right here, and then I'll have a different one right here. And then this is my switch. And I'm just using the simple switch uh, because it's, it's easy to operate and they're cheap. And that's gonna get mounted right there. Now the switch is kind of like the most important part because it has to line up with that hole. So I took the length of my board and then I found the center line and that's where my switch is gonna be mounted, right there on the center line because that will correspond to you know being right in the middle of my switch band where I put my hole. Um, so that is like the most critical component. Everything else is pretty much up to you. Um, this is a big board. I got a lot of room and I actually got two sides, um, you know, but one side is going to have this um, all thread going through it. So you, you know, what I did was I split mine so that the all thread is right down the middle. Um, on this one, it's on the middle, but um, you can just mount it on the back side of the board. So what I've gone and done is I've, I've cut out my pattern and I've sprayed the back of it with some spray adhesive and that makes it a little bit tacky. Um, and then I cut a little cutout for my um, standoff and then I'll just line it up and then just press it down. And so now my, all my holes are in the right spot. Um, I do want to mark this because I'm not drilling a hole for that one. So I'm just going to peel it up a little bit and then just mark it with a marker right in the middle because um, that's going to be where I want the middle of my switch to be mounted. All right. And so now what I'll do is I'll start drilling holes. Now I got these holes here are for my altimeter. And these bigger ones are for, I'm gonna use zip ties. So they need to be a little bit bigger for my zip ties. Um, and if you don't have um, electronic mounting hardware, we do sell it separately. Um, I've already opened it up and this is what you get in the kit. Um, you get these terminal blocks, which will be mounted on the bulkheads, on the outside of the bulkheads to make it easy to install your igniters. You get a whole bunch of zip ties um, these little containers are for your ejection charges. Um, there's a, a battery connector for a nine volt battery. So like on this one right here, I planned on using a nine volt battery. Um, so that's big enough for my battery plus the, the connector. Um, this foam is to wrap the batteries because they are the things you wanna protect. Um, you get an extra wire, you get the switch. And then you get a, a bag of screws and nuts. And inside of there, there's also a drill and a tap. And this drill and the tap is specific for electronics. Uh, these are the mounting posts that the altimeter is gonna screw into. And this tap is the same as that screw. And there also, I took the, um, I took the, the drill out already. And that's here, right here. And then, so what I'm gonna do is gonna drill these holes um, with this drill, and then I'll use a bigger drill for this one right here. 
Alright, so I'm gonna put this underneath. So I'm gonna just drill these holes, and this is to protect my table for eye protection. Okay, I'm going to pause and switch out the drill. It's warm. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this mess and then we'll be right back. <laughs> 